All right, artists. So we are going to learn how to draw a Yayoi Kusama inspired pumpkin. If you would like to learn more about Yayoi Kusama, you can watch on the laptop in the virtual art room and it will tell you a little bit about our super artist today. So I'm gonna draw an organic shape in the middle. It's still kind of like an oval. So round at the top and I'm gonna curve in my sides. Give my organic shape kind of a big belly. Round it around. There you go. Mine kind of looks like the shape of a pear. And I can then add on top of this shape my stem. Now, my artist, I'll encourage you to try to not make your stem a perfect, like, square hat because real stems don't really look like that. They're a little wonky. And now I'm going to bring my pumpkin lines out, 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 and out. Almost like I'm feeding it and it's tummy's feeling up, 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 up on the side. So I'm going to draw one line over here and I'm going to follow along the line of my, on the side of my pear shape in the middle. I'm going to do that on the other side. And I'm going to do that one more time, but if your paper is even bigger, you could do it even more. Awesome. So one thing that was super great about Yayoi Kusama's pumpkins is how covered in dots they were. You could draw dots and tons of different size dots, because remember she had big dots, middle size dots, tiny dots, tiny, tiny dots. You could stamp your dots if you dip the back of your eraser in paint to create dots. I am going to draw some dots with my Sharpie. When I'm done, I'll show you what that looks like and then we can color it. Mary, so I filled up my pumpkin with lots of dots, big dots to super tiny dots, and I did different patterns. I did bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. I did um, dots that were smaller and then grew bigger when my space on my pumpkin got bigger and got smaller when it got smaller again. And now I can color it in another color and I can design the background of my pumpkin if I would like to as well. I colored in my pumpkin. Yours can be completely different than mine. It can be any color you want. Even if you wanted to do lines um, in the background instead or something, completely up to you. My artist, if you end up making a Yayo inspired um, pumpkin today, please feel free to send it my way um, on Schoology so that I can put it in our art gallery if that's all right with you. It doesn't have to get put into the art gallery, but I'd still love, love, love to see it. Super listening, my artists, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.